And then uh, our last question before we wrap up today, and guys, be sure to go check out the link um, that we have pinned or the description if you want to go hang out with Chris the rest of this day. We really appreciate all Lurk support, even if you don't have Prime or are able to like you know uh, you know support with the like a sub etc. or a membership. Uh, Lurk support, especially on streams, is so important. Uh, so every time we can try to keep those numbers up, that helps us uh, out immensely. So uh, hopefully you guys want to go hang out. That we'll put a link in the comments as well. But uh, Miroslaw says, do you guys think uh, there will be another level cap raise? What do you think, Chris? Yes, I think they will continue raising the level cap. I think Blue Mage will continue to be behind but function differently. Uh, I think those are those are the relatively conservative assumptions. Um, at least in 7.0. But there is a question of, is 7.0 a 9-level raise or a 10-level raise? Are we stopping at 99? Or are we going to a triple digit? Um, WoW started to feel weird once it went to triple digits, and eventually they got rid of that. So um, what happens in 8.0 and 9.0 is, you know, when we're talking about like that 3, 5, 7-year speculation, that's the much riskier conversation where like i really don't know i think 7.0 is very safely we'll find out at the media tour media tour is hist- i mean not the media tour the uh fan fest which his fan fest is historically after the 0.4 patch so we'll find out next maybe summer um they'll say hey next expansion confirmed there's going to be msq there's going to be dungeons raids new glamours new mounts new zones new side stories at 10 level cap increase that'll be that first slide I don't think there's anything crazy about that. Um, what happens when that slide pops up at the 7.4 fan fest? Uh, my hope is that it goes to 99. So we will see a level cap. And I think anything after 99 in my mind should be more horizontal content based. Uh, when we look at what wow did and what they're doing again, when I look at the level cap increase, like I think there can be a value in it. But uh, when we look at what guild wars has done, Guild Wars, despite its lack of marketing and despite like literally has this aspect and it and it keeps and it prevents a lot of issues. It prevents this sense of like, well, it's been out for a while. Should I really start? Oh, level still 80. It's not 130. It's not 100, 200, you know, like and then essentially the, the, the solutions people don't like people don't like jump potions. Doesn't matter that we all understand why they exist. People don't like the sped up leveling process just to get you to the end, like set it to 99 and then focus more on a horizontal perspective so that in five years and in 10 years, it's not like, well, I mean, the first 120 or 150 levels are just like, you'll get that done in a day. You know, it's like, they don't mean anything. Like they're just junk. They're just there. Like you're firing off so many levels at that point. Like who cares? Like, no, no, no. Like set it to 99 would be my vote having that historical final fantasy level and then open it up to like mastery stuff. And your experience can go somewhere. They can do all kinds of interesting things. And then you, you invest more in a horizontal progression so that over the course of the next 10 years, you're not sitting here going like, well, we got to call back those levels. We got it. We got to get that back all down to 60 because you know, when people come in, they're like, well, what do we do? Um, you know, there's, there's all kinds of options. That would be my, that would be my preference, but you know, we'll ultimately see like Chris said in, in the next live letter fan fest thing, what is their plan? Because they either go to, if they go to a hundred that, that communicates that we're still continuing to one ten. ten. We're going to one ten, and we're going to one twenty. If they go to 99, that means that they, Hey, all right, we're going to go 99. Cool. Nine levels. Are okay. We stopping? Yeah. And then what, what's the system that takes place after that? And that's where, you know, if they go in that horizontal way, like we do have horizontal progression in certain aspects, but having that like, at level cap like what do you do it what could do have do? deathly hollows part one to this Endwalker was a dense enough story when you look at the trials we got in the main story they could have split it across two expansions and if they go to 99 and stop it kind of would make me want Endwalker to have been a two-part expansion oh, okay where yeah. we were just in Endwalker. imagine if right now we were progressing our post msq story through mm-hmm. right after trial number two yeah Right. Uh, and then yeah. and then EX three and four were were next expansions. And then there were like little mini ones. Like they could have made Endwalker a much bigger finale at that point. So that we could have ended the saga at ninety nine. Yeah. 
And David says biggest problem right now is that it's the time to actually clear the story, not your levels, because people are maxing low levels out. And Oak actually says, oh, the first 120 levels, I got that for 30, uh, 3499. Like, what, are <laughs> what are y'all talking about? Like that, 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 was a, that was a one-time fee in that regards. But uh, guys, that's going to be it for our show today. Uh, we thank you so much for all y'all tuning in, and hopefully you enjoyed uh, along with that. Chris, why don't you uh, give us any final thoughts or anything that you want to uh, bounce up before we, we wrap it up? If you enjoyed this and stayed all the way to the end, these are going to be, ideally, we're thinking in October of trying this as a Monday, Wednesday, Friday at 7.30 a.m. We'll see if that works as Brian kind of shifts his employment status and uh, as the kids in school and all that. And then um, my wife and I are trying this out with me being loud and ridiculous starting even earlier in the mornings. Um, So we're going to try this out in October. If you like being here, we'll be live. Uh, Brian will be live on the YouTube side of things. If you want the more polished version over on Twitch, I'm dragging things around. There's Sherland music and it's chaos. Uh, and then I'll be streaming Monday through Fridays. Uh, lore week this week, it, going into the live letter, uh, is all post Heaven's Word MSQ stuff. Me voice acting my first time through all of this. A lot of class or class quests sort of thing for what's lingering. Um, maybe we'll do some Alexander or something like that. And then uh, next week we'll be doing tons of variety. And in, in I'm just jumping MMOs all the time as we start to be really excited about the genre, just rocking and rolling. Absolutely. 